Hey guys, it's Claire here, and I am gonna make one of my favorite recipes. This is actually my fiance's favorite recipe. Um, it is spicy Thai style chicken wings. They're actually a recipe from my cookbook, and I wanted to share them with you for Super Bowl Sunday because they are so good. They're the perfect balance of sweet, very spicy, and very addicting. I can eat a lot of these. They're also not deep fried, so you can eat a lot of them without feeling too bad about yourself. And they're the perfect balance of sweet and spicy to me and they're also super duper easy to make. So what I have laid out are my ingredients. I have about two pounds of chicken wings and drumettes. So a chicken wing and drumette, that just means they took the full chicken wing and they took a wing section and the other section, which is the drumette. So you want the little nibbly, easy to eat pieces. And then I have about three tablespoons of vegetable oil. I have three tablespoons of sriracha. So really nice spicy uh, Vietnamese chili spice, which was really good. Um, and then I have one tablespoon of brown sugar. Palm sugar would also be awesome in this. I have a tablespoon of fish sauce, which is sort of like the Thai version of Worcestershire sauce. It has a really great savory flavor. It's super good. And then I have a teaspoon of, this is actually sashimi, which is a Japanese chili um, blend, but you can also use Thai chili blend or basically any chili mix that you really like. I like keeping it in sort of an Asian profile though, because it goes with all the great flavors in this recipe. All right, so that is all it takes. I have my oven set to broil, so we're gonna get started. So I have everything set up, so I'm just gonna mix my marinade together. It basically is a dump and stir, super duper simple. So first goes in my oil, it's about three tablespoons, and my sriracha. You can always add more sriracha if you want. I am very pro sriracha, so feel free to go to town. This also is great with other types of chili sauces, so if you have a favorite, feel free to add that. And then I have some brown sugar, just add a little bit of sweetness. It also helps everything caramelize, which is really nice. And then some fish sauce. This is basically acting as my salt, so it adds a really lovely kind of savory quality. And then the sashimi is really delicious. It also has a little bit of um, sesame seeds in it, which is so good. But yeah, any Asian style uh, chili, dried chili powder is great. And I'm just gonna mix this up. And so here's the thing, is the reason why I'm mixing it up here instead of dumping it in there are two reasons. First reason is I don't want there to be any clumps of anything when I'm putting together the chicken. Second reason is I'm actually gonna reserve some of this to uh, brush on top of the chicken wings. Um, so I don't wanna use the sauce that's been cooking in raw chicken for obvious reasons. So I'm just mixing this together and then I'm gonna conserve like a little bit. Let's see. I'd say about two tablespoons is enough. So let's dump out two tablespoons. That's good, okay. And the rest goes on the chicken. Beautiful. So at this point, if you want, you can use your hands. If you don't wanna use your hands, what I'm doing totally works as well. But you just wanna coat every single wing. Just really get into the nooks and crannies. Mmm, the sauce smells really good. I just love how spicy it is. And it's funny, for some reason, I don't actually find sriracha that crazy spicy anymore just because I eat a lot of spicy food. So if you do want to up the ante, you can feel free to make it even spicier. All right, that looks really good. So now I'm just gonna put it onto my lined baking sheet. I line the baking sheet in aluminum foil because this will just kind of destroy your baking sheets. Um, it's just because there's a lot of sugar and oil in here. It just cleaves to the baking sheet. So make sure to just put something down on it so that you can just easy clean up. That's basically what my goal is here. So I'm spreading these out because I want all of them to get really golden brown and super duper crusty. All right. Wonderful, that's it, so simple, I love this. All right, so I am now gonna broil these for 10 minutes and then I'm gonna flip them and broil for another six minutes. I am not putting this right under the broiler because that is a little bit aggressive. It's gonna be about six to eight inches away, so probably the second rung down in the oven. But yeah, ready to broil. 
So while my chicken wings are cooking in the oven, I'm actually gonna get started on my dipping sauce. I love this, it's a vinegar-based dipping sauce, so it has a lot of zip, which I think is perfect for the wings. The wings are kind of on the rich side, they're fatty, crusty, sweet, spicy, really delicious, but I love the idea of vinegar to cut through all of them. So the sauce is super basic. It's actually based off of a lot of sauces you get at Thai restaurants. It comes with a lot of food. So it'll be this vinegar-based chili sauce, and it's very simple. All it is is about a half cup of white vinegar, so that just goes straight into my pot over there. A tablespoon of fish sauce. Once again, this is acting as our salt. A tablespoon of white sugar, just like that. And then, let's see. And now I'm just gonna cook it. I'm gonna bring it to a simmer, and I basically wanna see the sugar completely dissolve. Once it's dissolved, I'm gonna turn the heat off, and then I'm gonna add my Thai chilies. So I thinly slice these Thai chilies. They're actually from my garden. I'm that committed to Thai food that I have the Thai chilies in my garden. And I'm gonna add these once this is already cooked. And then I'm just gonna let it sit, get a lot of really fabulous flavor, and then pour it off. But if you can't find Thai chilies, they're like the super baby tiny chilies. Um, serranos work really well in this as well. All right. Well, that looks pretty good. That has dissolved down, so killing the heat, adding the chilies. And I'm gonna let that sit until it's ready to go. All right, moment of truth. I have my hot wings in front of me. I have my spicy vinegar sauce for dipping. I am really nervous that I totally oversold myself as some sort of spice badass. So hopefully I don't like start crying and freaking out on camera, but these look really good. Mm. Oh yeah. That is the business. It is so delicious. It's the perfect blend of spicy, salty, sweet. It's really good. And the cool thing about this is if you want it spicier, use a spicier chili sauce. If you want it less spicy, use a less spicy chili sauce. You can really kind of play around with it and have fun with it. I love these wings. They're so simple to make and they're real good. Well, go team, whichever team you are rooting for. Sorry, it's such a cop out, but you know. Um, anyway, so I hope you have a lot of fun on the big game on Sunday. And yeah, this should be, this is a fun snack for everybody. So I hope you enjoy.